Mark Boucher has thrived as the coach of the Titans. The former Proteus wicketkeeper batsman has made a smooth transition from playing with the likes of A.B. de Villiers, Hashim Amla and Del Steyn to coaching them and believes the one-off test will be solid preparation for the Proteus ahead of the visit of India and Australia in 2018. I think the, the Zimbabwean um, test is, is a test and it's, it's a, a place for us to get our base, uh, find out you know, who's fit. Um, so yeah, if we can get our base and, and work out a couple of combinations, uh, then I don't see why they, they should use us as a, a good learning curve for where we want to go in the near future against the big guns. Dean Elgar, another Titans player, will open the batting for South Africa in the historic Test and PE and sees the shorter match as an opportunity to take a step towards regaining the number one Test ranking. Well, the fact is that it's still a Test match. is still uh, a big thing for the players. Um, I mean, that's something that we don't have control of, uh, over with regards to the fixtures and how they want to structure the, the games played. But uh, us as a professional unit, uh, we see it as an opportunity to obviously get closer to number one again. The Titans coach has always been a fan of innovation in cricket and has incorporated new things in his 16-month coaching tenure. But when it comes to the four-day test format, he is not a fan. I think the game of cricket is growing. Uh, whether the four-day test is, is the way forward, I disagree with. Um, I th I'm a, a test naturalist. I enjoy the, the five days. I think uh, it's a test of not only the mental side of the game, but the physical side of the game as well. And, and without a fifth day um, available, uh, I think it's, we're going back to four-day cricket. So I don't agree with that at all. Although the four-day test under lights isn't everyone's cup of tea, even the purists will admit that it brings in the crowds and the financial benefits are attractive to a format that has been struggling to attract spectators. Love it or hate it, pink ball cricket is here to stay and it is a matter of time before grounds like this host the floodlit tests. CS2 Plessis, CGTN, Centurion.